What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a great day as always. And uh, if you're new to the channel and this is your first video, my name's Michael and uh, I pretty much just work on my Fiat 500 and put parts on it. And this channel is my way of documenting pretty much everything I do to the car. And uh, yeah, pretty much all the weird stuff in between, I guess. So uh, anyways, with that out of the way, we will get to the car. So uh, today I'm putting some spark plugs in it because my spark plugs time has come and uh, my car had a slight misfire. So, need to get rid of those and put some new ones in there. So, if you're gonna do this on your own and you have a Fiat and you'd like to know, uh, these are the tools you're gonna need. So, first off, some channel locks or maybe vice grips or pliers, something like that, just to, to squeeze the clamps to get some hoses off there. Let's see, 3 8 ratchet wrench, some extensions to get in there to actually get the spark plugs out. You're going to need a 10 mil to, uh, one, take off the negative terminal for the battery before you do anything, and two, to get the coil packs out, and then, of course, your spark plug socket. It's a 5 8 and you want to make sure it is a spark plug socket. You can't really see in there, but there's rubber grooves, and it holds the spark plug. That way it won't fall out, and you don't get stuck in there or shatter it in there, which would be, like, the worst-case scenario. And then, of course, a little screwdriver, just something to pop the clips off for the coil packs, and your spark plugs. So, I chose these spark plugs, and I got them from Euro Compulsion, because they've never done me wrong. And uh, they're pre-gapped, and obviously the right size, because Euro Compulsion primarily sells Alfa Romeo Fiat parts, so they really know what they're doing here in terms of these cars. Um, you don't want to be like some people, and... Uh, Go to O'Reilly's and get your pre-gapped spark plugs and not pay attention to the fact that they're a little bit too long and then bottom them out in the motor and then make your misfire worse and then like retune your car thinking there's a bunch of other problems and then take them back out, put your crappy old spark plugs back in, realize your mistake, hate yourself for it, return your spark plugs and then order them from the right place like you should have in the first place. Wonder who that could have been. Pfft, not me. <laughs> All right. Anyways, jumping into it. We've got to pop the hood here. So, uh, come on over to the car. You gonna pull a little lever and we get that hood up. All right. So first things first, you're gonna want to take off your negative terminal. So get your ten mil. I'll go ahead. Loosen that up. Microfiber, throw it up so I don't touch anything. Problem solved there. Okay, next, channel locks. So, what we're gonna do with these is uh, pop this clamp loose and uh, just get that out of the way. And we'll do the same thing with this guy. And once you pop the easier side off, whichever one you find that might be, the other side should come off too. And if it doesn't, you'll have more leverage anyway. Personally, I wouldn't take this one off completely and just turn it because uh, you don't want to leave that open. And you can get the coil pack out fine like this. So now we can move on to getting the clips off the coil packs. Take my flathead and uh, just go ahead and kind of lift this thing out. You can do one side with your finger just like that. And then do that for all of them. And once that's taken care of, all you gotta do is push down on this black part with your thumb. It should pop right off. That. All right, and you kinda find a way to push those out of the way. You need to label them, but they're pretty fixed length, so you probably won't need to. And then after that, get your 10 mils for the coil packs. So, I already have it on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and break that loose. I'm gonna change them one by one because I don't want anything to get into the engine in between changing the spark plugs. So it just seems smarter, and in my opinion, to uh, do them one at a time. So, I'm gonna take out the coil pack. Thank you. 
Now you want to make sure there's nothing in there. So just take a moment if you have an air compressor to blow it in there. Or if you don't have anything like that and you want to be super ghetto, use a freaking straw from Taco Bell. <laughs> and stick it in there and blow it out. But you're probably going to hit yourself in the face with some nasty stuff. So uh, do that and then go ahead and pull the old spark plug out. So you're just going to lift it up carefully. There you go, there's your old one. Pretty gross. And we'll take our new spark plug and fit it into the socket. Remove that. And now you want to be really careful when you set this in there. You don't drop it or bounce it into anything. And then you set it straight in there. And then give it a turn to the left until you feel that little pop. And then you start threading it to the right. Just going nice and smooth. Looks like one thing I did fail to mention was a torque wrench. The torque for the spark plugs is 16 newton meters, which is 12 foot pounds. Let's just go ahead and tighten it down to 12 foot pounds. All right, so now that's taken care of. We'll go ahead and line up our coil pack. back in, push the little clip in, that one's done, and we just repeat that process three more times, and then I'll go over putting everything back together when we're done. So once you got all those back in there, uh, all you really got to do is just uh, turn this thing back, make sure you're actually spinning it, you don't want it to go messed up. Put it back on there on both sides, make sure it's pushed in all the way, and then uh, get it clamped nice and good. And then this one, pretty straightforward, just grab the clamp and uh, wiggle it back over there. And then uh, the last step, pretty much out of everything, would be just to connect your battery terminal back. Just make sure everything's plugged in already. So uh, all four coil packs are back in on top of the spark plugs that are torqued. Got everything clipped back in, hoses back in, battery terminals back in there. So uh, nothing to worry about now. Go ahead and start the car up, make sure everything sounds good. So uh, I'm gonna do that right now. There you have it, the uh, car is running healthy, as you can see right there. So uh, everything's good, I mean it's really not that hard of a process, through and through, like if you know what you're doing, or even if you don't, you watch a YouTube video, once you do it like two or three times, it'll probably only take you like 15, 20, 30 minutes at the most. But uh, yeah, it's not too difficult, so uh, if you guys want to give a crack at this, then uh, next time you need to change your spark plugs, which for these cars is pretty often, um, go for it. I mean. It's really not that hard, you don't need complicated tools, the only thing maybe out of someone's toolbox range would be like the spark plug socket, you can just go buy an individual one. So uh, yeah, anyways, that's it for me today guys, so I uh, hope you all have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching. If you guys wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button if you're interested in the videos and you want to see more, I post every Monday, so uh, go ahead and click that notification bell too while you're at it. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and uh, I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you next week.